Yo, what's going on YouTube? Onyx, back on this Ultimate Team, and uh, we got some new NFL movers. I'm gonna start out with the 24 hour because that's the main one most of y'all wanna know about. Mr. Percy Harvin got a new 99 overall card. He got a 99 overall card though. But yeah, uh, in all honesty, he looks just like Mike Wallace, to, to be very, very honest with you. Um, 99 speed, obviously he has that 100 elusiveness that Mike Wallace doesn't have. Uh, he has better, better release, but not too much better release. I think Mike Wallace's release is like 90. Percy Harvin has 95, which is nice, uh, especially for a 99 speed receiver to have 95 release. That's nice. Uh, 92 route running, though, is the exact same as Mike Wallace. Uh, 98 spec catch is pretty nice. 95 catch in traffic is decent, especially uh, for a smaller receiver. And 98 catch is also nice. But um, for 740K, I just don't see it. <laughs> That's just me, though. I just don't see 740K. I do like the 100 elusiveness, though. And, ooh, I do like his after the catch stats. Wow, 88 trucking? Really? With 99 juke move and 100 spin move. So I like I like his kick return abilities mixed with his deep ball ability, but I just don't see it for 700k. 70 impact block is nice, but I don't like his 55 run block. But he doesn't look like he's gonna be that huge of a liability in the run game. So it looks like you could actually put him out there as a number one receiver, even though he's a little small. But with that speed, he can make up for his uh, shortness at 5'11". Even though you know most people like running them tall receivers, so. But yeah, other than that, he doesn't look like a bad card. Just doesn't look amazing. Doesn't look like anything too spectacular to me. Like I say, he looks very, very similar to Mike Wallace, except uh, obviously better because he's a 99 and that Mike Wallace is a 95. But uh, he doesn't look that much ridiculously better outside of the uh, the after the catch stats. His after the catch stats look amazing compared to Mike Wallace. But uh, unless you're really planning on using them as a kick returner or you're just going to be throwing them a bunch of little short bubble screens and slants and stuff like that, his after the catch ability isn't really going to do too much for you. But I don't know. He's kind of up there with uh, with Steve Smith and the, the, the after the catch stats because uh, Steve Smith does some crazy things after he catches the ball. So I don't know. Percy Harvin might do the same, the same type of stuff with that 100 elusiveness and then uh, good trucking and stiff arm to go along with it. He probably has good strength too. Cause he's not really the weakest small guy. I don't know, let's see. I went past it, I didn't really pay attention to it. Yeah, he does, good strength too, 81 strength. That's nice with 86 carry. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's pretty nice there. Um, but let's move on to some of these little guys. I guess you can call them little guys. You know this, this guy should be pretty good. 94 overall, Teron Williams. 94 speed, 96 excel, 95 agility. I would really have liked to have uh, a little more speed out of Tremont. It just seems, 94 just seems to be like the average for cornerbacks these days. It's not bad. I just would have hoped he had a little more than that. 96 man is nice. 91 play rec is nice for, uh, for the overall cornerback that he is uh not really a good press corner though so he's a man corner but you got to back him off because he would get beat all day long with that 86 press if you press him um he should be able to catch though yeah there we go 81 catch but i say he definitely should be able to catch uh he's not the tallest 511 uh i thought they should have given him a little more play rec than that but i guess seeing as he only got a 94 overall card they kind of had to leave it a little lower so he didn't put his overall up too much but other than that I mean the card doesn't look bad it doesn't look any it doesn't look amazing I still probably wouldn't pick him up over Parrish Cox that's just me uh, but yeah he doesn't even it, it's nothing there that's too amazing to me he's not that fast he has good agility and good acceleration but like I said I wouldn't pick him up over Parrish Cox who's an inch taller more speed, more acceleration, and uh, just, for me, all around, just a better cornerback. I don't know. This Tremont Williams might be pretty nice, though, seeing as uh, he just came out and I haven't used him yet. I can't really say too much. I can't say too much. But just going off of his stats, I don't really too see too much amazingness 
out of that card. And then we get 94 overall Curtis Lofton. Um, not the fastest, not slow by any means, but definitely not the fastest. Uh, 88 speed with 91 excel, 89 agility. Definitely not bad, just nothing too crazy. A uh, good tackle, really good play rec for a 94 overall corner. That 95, I mean, corner, 94 overall linebacker. That 95 play rec is nice. 82 zone coverage is also pretty good. Uh, 90 strength, 93 pursuit is also a little low. 88 block shit, a little low for my liking. Uh, 89 awareness is nice too, though, to go with that play rec. So he looks like a little smarter middle linebacker for, uh, for the budgety group. I mean, he's not going to be that expensive because he's below a 95 overall, first of all, and because these guys usually come flying out of packs. Just way too many of them. And he's not bad in coverage. Not amazing, but not bad. He's a little on the short side, though. And his hit power is not the greatest. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're a Raider fan or a Saints fan, because he's an ex-Saint, but he's a Raider now, maybe you want to go pick up this Lofton. But just me, I would probably still pick up... Uh, I He'd probably be cheaper, too. That's Stephon Anthony, the, the actual... Saint now, <laughs> the middle linebacker for the Saints, that NFL draft middle linebacker. He's just taller. He's got the same speed, but he's also like 6'3". And his just catching ability for the, the user, the user effect for Anthony is just so nice at middle linebacker. Like, he's so good at catching. And as you can see, Curtis Lofton is not. So, yeah, I would probably, I, I would stay away from that Curtis Lofton. But that's just me. I, I know some of you are going to pick him up obviously but me i would stay away from that curtis lofton and uh last but not least i don't even know how to say his name so i'm just gonna say steven i have no clue how to say his last name i honestly have no clue at all but wow your boy has 101 strength though really and 91 except yo that's not bad 77 speed is eh, but 91 excel is not bad at all with 101 strength. Yo, that's nasty And he's only a 93 overall Yo, your boy has done Terry post strength power move and block shed and he's gonna cross like Not even half of what Poe calls That's kind of ridiculous and I think he has better play rec than him, too. His pursuit is way lower, though. 86 pursuit is a little sucky. But 101 strength with 97 power move and 91 excel, I could probably get down with this Steven Pitt. Paya, Pia, I don't know. I could, pro I could probably use this card. I would probably recommend this card at DT. Because 101 strength is no joke. And he definitely has very good power move and good block shit. And uh, he's not slow. That 91 acceleration is definitely not slow. He, he kind of reminds me of a Vince Wilfork card. Except stronger than most of Vince Wilfork's cards, except for his, uh, his new movers card, which is crazy expensive. But other than that, he looks very similar to some of Vince Wilfork, except he doesn't have his play rec. He doesn't have that, that Wilfork play rec. But other than that, he looks very similar. Good acceleration, even though he's slow. Uh, really strong, good block shed, good power move. Yeah, I I would use this guy. Uh, that's just me though. But I would definitely pick up Mr. Steven over here because he looks like a very nice, a very nice DT, and he probably would be selling for pretty cheap. I mean, he just came out already down to 20k. So yeah, he's 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 gonna drop as you can see with the rest of them are already down to like 10 and 13 He's probably gonna he's probably gonna sit around where Henry Melton's sitting. He's probably gonna sit around like 15 16 um, He might drop a little cheaper today Because people might be pulling him more today. I don't know though I don't know how many people really want that that 24-hour Percy Harvin So I don't know how many people are really really gonna be in packs today looking for Percy Harvin I don't think it's gonna be that serious, so it might not. He might not drop. He might sit at twenty thousand. 
So this one, I'm surprised nobody's actually bought it yet because this one is actually way cheaper than the next. 5K cheaper. But yeah, he, he probably will sit at 20,000 because I don't think too many people are really going to be in packs today trying to pull this this Percy Harvin. I don't know. I could be I could be incorrect, but I don't think so. But yeah, that's all the new NFL movers for today. And that's going to be it for this one. I'm Onyx, and I'm out of here.